How's it going everyone? Frontier Center here. Welcome back to the channel. I got two cameras put up today. I got one right there and one right there. I don't know if this is going to be a good setup or not because it's, it's kind of dumb, but let's just see how this goes. So today we're going to be talking about K-Tactical. So what or who is K-Tactical? They are an anime themed waifu based firearms company. I have the power of God and anime on my side! Wait, you ah! They specialize in making, uh, you know, firearm components, firearms themselves, and also soft gear. So last summer, I know it's been a long time, last summer they sent me a whole bunch of merch that I haven't really gotten a chance to look at. And the Commando Block, which I've worked with previously before, also sent me like a belt and a whole bunch of other stuff. So just taking a quick look at their website, uh, they sell, like I said before, a various number of things. However, as you can see here, the prices are pretty great. One of the first things that they sent me was a sling. So I requested a single point sling because I lacked a sling for my SP5K here. So this is my SP5K. As you can see, it is outfitted with their K-Tactical sling. Let me just show you real quick here. So either way, how I don this sling is I just throw it over a shoulder and the gun kind of just dangles right here, just like that. And you can use it like how HK says to use it, just press out. And the nice thing about this sling is this bungee doesn't give way the whole way. There's a stopping point. Unlike HK's bungee, which just dangles all the way down, it looks like your gun's just dragging all over the ground. But this one stops, so I like to press out on this one. And it also allows you to flip your stock out or whatever, and that's pretty cool. They also sell this uh, little thing here. I think these are pretty cute. They take up only one slot on the pick rail. Really small, great design, and uh, you can throw a little charm there to represent your waifu. Now I haven't put this through any like hard use or whatever because, I mean, what is hard use? I'm just a freaking weeb, you know? The Commando Blog sent me this, uh, this thing here. So this is a leather holster made for a Glock, I think a 17 or, or 19, one of the Glocks. And um, I don't really have Glocks anymore because, you know, I just don't like them. I always suggest the Kydex holster, something that's a little bit more, you know, less pliable than, than this. I don't really like how you can squeeze this down. Comes with a metal clip, but it's not a style that I love. Um, it protects the trigger guard, but like I said, I don't really suggest the leather holsters. They are comfortable, but I don't love them. And just, you know, a couple draws here. Works fine, but it doesn't really have that positive, you know, it's not as, it doesn't feel as positive as a Kydex one. But it's quiet and it's pretty comfortable. But do I suggest holsters like this? Nah. But if you're looking for a leather holster that's pretty affordable, Cake Tactical has got your back. The next item on our list here is this gun belt. So this gun belt, they do sell separately without all the kit stuff and you can buy a complete set. Like, I think it costs around like $130 or something for like this whole set. Um, but it also, you can also buy the belt um, as a loan, a standalone belt. It's obviously Molly compatible, which is what we have for, pretty, it's pretty much standardized now. But it is a dual layer belt. And the difference about this dual layer belt is you actually don't weave the belt inside your pant loops. Unlike a Ronin Tactics belt, how there's an inner belt and an outer belt, this is an outer belt along with another outer belt basically. So, so on the inside here, you have a bunch of Velcro to adjust how big you want the strap to be. This is what goes on in the inside of the Velcro. And the nice thing is that you can wear this without stringing it around your pants. So it's really easy to don and doff, just like that. It's not really a Raptor belt, it's kind of its own thing. So this is my, uh, I guess my actual like duty belt or whatever you want to call it, I don't care to call it. This LARP, I just LARP anyways. And this is an actual G-Code soft shell. And this is the K-Tactical one. So as you can see, the G-Code one has a lot thicker, um, has a lot thicker thread as compared the K Tactical one. So those are the kind of the small nuances that you'll find in differences in quality. So the thing about these kinds of clones is that they definitely use materials that's a little bit more cost effective and that's kind of how they're able to, uh, to make it cheaper for everybody. The belt itself is, is pretty cool. $40 for a gun belt, really cheap especially with this kind of good quality. Um, highly suggest this kind of belt. Also came with a uh, kind of dump pouch of sorts or an admin pouch. And inside, uh, I have a tourniquet here. I think this is like a knockoff cat tourniquet. 
Um, it comes with a little neck knife. Now this little neck knife, I think they, or belt knife, I think they've improved this clip design. But it's a cute little knife here. Very similar to like uh, CRKT's uh, minimalist knife. Uh, but you can put it like around your belt or in a boot or something. And these things are just very handy. I've reviewed stuff like this in the past and I just like these knives. Like I said, just great for EDC. Handy. What more can you ask for? Now, when uh, Commando Block sent this belt along with me, they also packed in this. Now this is pretty cool. I'm not a knife guy or anything like that. I know you want to have good steel and all better locking mechanisms or whatever. But this one right here has some aesthetics that I like because they are weave aesthetics. Take a look at that. It's like a little, uh, it's like a little katana. So this has a little flipper in the back and also a thumb, a thumb stud. It's only on one side, so if you're right-handed, good for you. If you're not, kind of should have a luck. But it flips out okay. Shiny blade, got some K tactical markings on it. And honestly, I think it looks pretty sharp. I haven't really put it through its paces, but it's like a small knife and it's cool. And I think this will just make a good gift to your fellow weeb. You can't have a belt without a dump pouch because you got to throw all your shit somewhere. And this is theirs. It's very, uh, it's very heavy duty. Uh, it's really thick inside actually, a lot of, a lot of space. I got uh, four Thanos mags here, and uh, you know, if you want, you can stuff them all in there, like that. And that's pretty much full capacity for their dump pouch, and I think that's pretty adequate, you know, if you're gonna put them all in here. I don't know who, who would carry four mags on their side like this, but if you wanted to, uh, you could. Oh, and just for clarification, K-Tactical didn't pay me for this review. They just sent me a sling and uh, a mag caddy. That's all they sent me. They didn't really send me much. Yeah, this is just a quick look at K-Tactical. Pretty cool company. They're doing a lot of different things. I think they're, I think it's run by a group of younger dudes. Having fun, watching anime with the bros, and just having a good time. So other than that, I guess I don't really have much to say. Sorry, kind of a short video today. Moi Paquito. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Always remember to say tactically kawaii. That, that's what it looks like from behind. <laughs>